In the summer of 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope began its mission about 1.4 million kilometers from Earth. As Hubble's successor, its goal was to search for the oldest light signals in space. It was originally thought that Webb would look into the dawn of the universe, but within hours of its first images being released, it became clear that Webb wasn't viewing the beginnings of the cosmos. Join us on this cosmic journey Webb just discovered the farthest star of all time. Instead, it revealed images suggesting that our cosmological understanding of the universe had been incorrect. Amid all the excitement, one discovery was nearly forgotten. In March 2022, when few expected a groundbreaking finding, the aging Hubble telescope astonished scientists by capturing an image of a star later named Arundel. Arundel is the oldest known single star ever observed by humans. Learn about what Hubble, Webb, and this star of the dawn are all about in this video. Before we dive into the fascinating details, we encourage you to leave a comment at the end of the video, sharing your thoughts on the latest findings in astronomy. In future videos, we'll reward our subscribers with a heart for their contributions, and we'll pin important posts at the top so that everyone can see them. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and mention both in your comment. We're eager to hear from you, and now, let's explore Arundel, the oldest star ever seen. An unexpected discovery. Just as the world turned its gaze to the anticipated star from the Webb mission, astronomer Brian Welch of Johns Hopkins University made a stunning announcement. In an image taken by the ancient Hubble Space Telescope, researchers had identified the oldest single star ever discovered. Initially, this object was given the technical name WHL 137LS, but it soon gained global recognition as Arundel. The name Arundel, derived from Old English, means morning star or rising light. If you are familiar with the works of English writer J.R.R. Tolkien, the name may sound familiar, as Arundel is the morning and evening star whose light grants immortality to the elves. This celestial body was thus given a truly mystical name, fitting for its age, which is approximately 12.9 billion years. By March 2022, it was already evident that this star existed about 900 million years after the Big Bang. Researchers believed that Arundel was one of the first stars to emerge in the universe after the Dark Ages. This ancient light became visible only due to a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing, where the gravitational forces of the galaxy cluster WHL 137-8 amplified Arundel's light, making it visible despite its immense distance. This effect can be likened to using a curved magnifying glass over a map, which enlarges certain sections while distorting others. The galaxy near which Arundel was discovered was named the Sunrise Arc. At the time, researchers believed this discovery brought them close to the cosmic dawn, but then Webb arrived, and everything changed. Webb clears up old ideas. If you follow our channel regularly or are a fan of astronomy, you'll know that, since the release of Webb's first images, our cosmic worldview has been under re-evaluation. James Webb's deep field image unveiled so many ancient galaxies that the Big Bang theory is now facing increasing doubt. If the Big Bang did occur, it most certainly didn't happen 13.8 billion years ago as previously thought. Not only did Webb show us galaxies that shouldn't exist according to current cosmological models, but it also provided a new image of Arundel. In the deep field image, Arundel appears as a tiny point of light. Surrounding it is a ring of light known as the Sunrise Arc. The bright star in the image with its blue-white light is much younger than Arundel. In these images, the brightest objects are the youngest and closest, while the faint, reddish lights come from the oldest objects in the cosmos. Thanks to this image, researchers gained an even clearer understanding of the dawn star. Arundel likely had a mass between 50 and 100 times that of the sun, classifying it as a blue giant. Using the past tense is appropriate here, because Arundel almost certainly no longer exists. The lifespan of massive blue stars is believed to be less than 4 billion years. If the star still existed today, it would be about 28 billion light years away due to the universe's expansion, meaning even the James Webb telescope wouldn't be able to detect it. Arundel's light traveled 12.9 billion years to reach Webb's mirrors in the summer of 2022. In these light signals, researchers are finding new clues about the star's properties thanks to Webb's advanced measurement techniques, which observed the star through eight different filters.
each highlighting different aspects of the light emissions. Now, let's explore what scientists have discovered based on this new data. Arundel's age was determined using redshift. As light travels through space, it is stretched by the expansion of the universe, shifting the light's wavelength into the red spectrum. The more redshifted the light of a galaxy or star, the further away and older it is. Arundel's redshift is measured at 6.2, corresponding to an age of 12.9 billion years. Before this extraordinary discovery, researchers had only observed stars with redshifts between 1 and 1.5. Thanks to the gravitational lensing effect, Webb confirmed the data Hubble gathered in March 2022. Webb also re-examined Irindal's luminosity and reached a clearer conclusion than Hubble. It turns out that Irindal is a type B star, with an effective surface temperature ranging from 12,000 to 15,000 degrees Celsius. These stars aren't the largest or hottest, but they are still much brighter and hotter than our sun, which is a G-type star. Arundel's brightness could have exceeded the sun's by up to 1 million times, and its mass may have been 50 times greater. However, astronomers can't yet be sure whether Arundel was a single star. The light could also come from a binary star system or multiple stars. Most stellar giants that still exist today are often accompanied by smaller stars or exist in multi-star systems, due to their strong gravitational pull. Astronomers were astounded to find that Arundel was one million times brighter than the Sun, pushing the boundaries of the Humphreys-Davidson limit, which is the theoretical maximum brightness for celestial objects. If Arundel really was a single star, astronomers might need to rethink this limit. In ancient cosmic models, Arundel would have been considered a population three star, one of the first stars ever formed. These stars were thought to be composed mostly of hydrogen and helium, with almost no heavier elements known as metals in astronomy. Population three stars, however, likely burned out quickly, with lifespans of just a few hundred million years, leaving behind faint remnants that are difficult to observe. Researchers hope that Webb will discover more of these ancient stars. What does the future hold? As mentioned earlier, Webb has already found several galaxies far older than Arundel. Some of these galaxies at 13.6 billion years old existed just 200 million years after the Big Bang, which challenges past models of the universe. According to those models, there should only have been isolated stars at that time, not fully formed galaxies. This discovery forces us to rethink our understanding of the cosmos, and Arundel's role as a star from the cosmic dawn is already somewhat outdated. We cannot yet detect individual stars in the oldest known galaxies, but it's possible that future web images and gravitational lensing will reveal even older stars. Now, tell us what you think about Arundel's discovery and the James Webb Telescope's latest findings. Do you believe Arundel was truly a star from the universe's first moments, or do you think that past assumptions about the age of the universe may be incorrect? Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiry signing off.